Our team coverage on winter storm Yoshi continues. Families in Hamden are trying to stay warm this morning as crews work around the clock to restore power to the homes in that area. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz joins us live now from Weather Tracker 2. What's the status on all those outages, Carolina? Good morning. Well, earlier this morning, we knew that there were about 3,000 outages, and that's now down. Folks here gearing up for their day, some scraping off their cars um, to get their day started. But then I want to show you what's causing all of these outages. So the roads, uh, some of the roads here are closed, so they are impassable at this hour. And that's because a lot of these tree limbs have fallen down just from the weight of the ice, and some of them have fallen onto power lines, as is this case. Uh, here. So residents are dealing with power outages and crews are trying to clean up those down trees and wires. And again, those roads are impassable. And this is the debris that's been caused by storm Yoshi. So the ice is creating these major problems. We did speak with a resident in this area and he says that his power went out after a tree limb collapsed onto the line that leads to his home. It was kind of a firework show watching limbs come down on all the neighbors properties. Uh, people were out of power for a while. To report down trees or power lines in the area, you can call Hamden Fire Department Dispatch at 203-230-4000. Of course, if it's an emergency, just dial 911. Residents here are being asked to stay off the roads, not only for your safety, but also for the safety of these crews that are having to deal with these downed lines and downed trees. Also, if your power is out or if you know somebody whose power is out, there are warming shelters open and we're going to have all those details on our Channel 3 app. For now reporting in Hamden, Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.